Hello everyone, Sirik here with another gaming grab bag stream for IndieOverlook.com. Um, if you haven't seen any of these, the way it works is I'm going to be playing a bunch of games. All of them are blind, unless I decide to play a particular one that I tried the demo of. We'll see if I get to it. But otherwise, all of them are going to be blind playthroughs. I play through each game for 15 minutes each, and then move on to the next. That 15 minutes is not a hard time limit by any stretch. If the game is really disappointing or just doesn't work, because hey, they're blind playthroughs, and some of these games might not work, who knows? Um, they boot up fine, but quality issues, you know. Um, uh, we'll just move on early. And likewise, if the game is really good, then I might play for a little bit longer than 15, might go to 20, 25. We'll see. But anyway, this is tonight's first game, Catsby. It's an indie platformer that seems to be a bit Metroidvania-ish, with um, a cat NPC, or, well, not NPC, protagonist. So, let's just get going. Gonna set the time limit right now. There we go, let's start. We hit a checkpoint at the cat statue. Hmm. I guess our character is not normally a cat. Hello there. I. I oh. Is this like a play on Gatsby? Because that seems like a butler. So we're probably rich. <laughs> I, I guess that was us normally, and we got turned into a cat by a man with an evil robot. Okay. Oh, Captain Napoleon. Oh, is this not our butler? Okay. I like this tune. This is some good music going on. I like how the game looks. Okay, it says was, and there we go. Oh, wow, this is oddly slippery. So, just to give an idea, I'm going to let go now. And he moves that, for that far um, after I let go. Circle to jump. Not a big fan of that. I might switch to keyboard controls at this rate. Let's see. I don't think I'm allowed to switch. Okay, well, I'll get used to circle for jump. Are you saw an Overwatch ad? Um, n no, I won't appreciate the pennies you just suffered through for that because I'm not a Twitch affiliate. Um, at least not yet. So, Twitch will appreciate the pennies you suffered through for that, though. That's fine, they deserve it. Twitch is a good company for the most part. K. I'm guessing K is normally jump. Or something. Okay, I can duck to go down. Oh, I I love that ducking animation. What is that? <laughs> I just turn into like a slime. Okay. Now well, that's usually what spikes do. So I notice I have bars underneath my name that I assume are health, and then the hearts, I guess, are lives? Oh, well, I'm already at full health and whatnot. So I wonder how lives work in a game that presumably has saves and all that. Okay, we're just pretending to be a cat, even though we really don't look that much like a cat. Okay, bye person. Uh, oh, she just gave me a boxing glove to kill things with. Thanks. Okay, and it just paused to show me that. Oh, can I adjust the controls and pause? There we go. Oh, I can adjust... Okay, let me see if I can do anything with the map. This is like keyboard controls I can adjust. But the image is of a game controller. I don't see a way of adjusting it otherwise. Unless I'm like... I do... No, I'm not allowed to do anything with that. Okay. 
Well, I'll just get used to it. Oh, line is fight space head? I can see that a bit. My space head is not a good game. Well, it depends on which one we're talking about. There were a few. Press attack to destroy the enemies. Why, thank you, Sai. I would have never figured that out on my own. Oh, this takes multiple punches. And again, I, I can't be hard on a tutorial for being overly handholdy because it's not like the tutorial is pausing me every second, you know? Oh, I should probably get the mouse off the screen. Don't know. I don't think it was recording that anyway, but sorry about that if it was. Oh, Linus Space has a great game, just bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that, that is one way to describe it. What? There is no way that was 15 minutes already. I think my timer just messed up. Yeah, I've been live for five minutes. What the heck, timer? Oh, I must have set off two timers on accident. That's why. Okay, yeah. Still got ten minutes left on this. Let's see if I can get out of the tutorial. Oh, it was recording my mouse as an in-game mouse pointer? Oh, well, sorry about that. <laughs> it's because I was trying to click on the word that said keyboard on the option to see if I could turn it into controller. And I could not. Okay, I do not have the ability to break barrels. Okay, I cannot swim. Good that they told me that. I'm glad that they... That is one thing I'm glad about them telling me up front. Um that I can't swim right now, because a lot of games that have water, you kind of either die or lose a health testing if you can swim in it, right? Or you think that you can't swim in it, and then you just miss the water for who knows how long when there could be all sorts of stuff under it. Get the feeling we might be able to swim very shortly, since there's a lot of water around. And this is saving, not just checkpointing, right? Yeah, it says save success, of course. Thanks, Catsby. I don't know what... I'm, I'm guessing the fruit is just healing. That was not worth it. Hello, not copyright infringing pipe. Oh, I can't go down it. Boo. I don't need, know what I need money for, but I may as well gather it, right? Now, when you say Linus Spacehead, do you mean the platformer or the adventure game with platforming bits? Because when I think Linus Spacehead... Oh, wait, no, that's Cosmic Spacehead, which is also still Linus, I think. I always think of the one that has the um, adventure game bits in it. Okay, well, I... Do I need to... Ooh. So can I just swim now, or do I need to equip that? Okay, I can just swim now. Okay, that um, pearl looks like it was something I could interact with, but I guess it's just a background element. Fair enough. I like these spiders. I like how everything in this game looks. This game definitely has its aesthetics down. Platforming's also not quite as slippery. I'm already, like, used to it. I thought it would feel a lot more slippery, because you do take a while to stop, but you're also not stopping all that often, so it's not a big deal. Where am I going? Okay, got my health back. So, I don't know what those lines under where it says boxing are in that case. Maybe that's MP? Is there, like, a magic system, maybe? There's also that path to the left. There were a few paths I could go down. Oh, am I not going to be allowed? Oh no, I can push crates. Okay, so crates can be pushed. Barrels, on the other hand, are just ever so slightly too heavy for us. Oh, you're a jerk. <laughs> Wasn't sure what I was doing. Globefish fire four spikes. Okay. I probably should have tried ducking that, but good to know that we're still short enough. Oh, you're a globefish. Oh, I died. 
Okay. Thought that I could kill it in time. Well, since we're here, let's... Oh, this is bad war. Wait, I did checkpoint myself, right? <gasps> oh, I didn't checkpoint myself. Oh, I should have done that. Well, that's my fault. No time to get the snorkel back. It's right here, so it's not really an issue. Well, Streamline is Spacehead. I have never finished that game. The um, Genesis one, at least. I never played the other one. I always would get stuck with no idea of where to go. I don't know if it's one of those games where you can permanently just kind of screw yourself out of progress. Because I know you get money early on, and there's like multiple things you can spend the money on. I don't know if any of them are traps. Yeah. Let's get back to the checkpoint in this game. I'd like to get up to at least one boss. Because it feels like I'm probably fairly close to a boss, and yeah, let's definitely checkpoint. Okay, need to wait for it to come out of the shell, and then we can bash it. Kinda don't like that they flicker when you hit them while they're in the shell, because it makes it look like they're taking damage, but I'm pretty sure they don't. I go, can I go back up here? I can. He kinda gets sucked up, and then immediately falls back. I might need a better jump, because I forgot if there was anything in the water over there. Anyway, let's see what this is about. Oh. Q-Tab-E. I don't know what any of that is. Okay. This kind of a mini boss out of nowhere. Oh boy! Well, I can't change weapons game right now. I wonder if I defeat him if I get a new weapon. This seems a bit out of my league at the moment. Well, he dies fast. Okay, I can do this. Maybe not this time, because I've already taken two hits. And if he even, like, brushes up against me, I'll die. I'm getting greedy. Oh, crap. Yeah. This boxing glove does not have very good range. <laughs> Almost like it's a starting weapon. I know you get bombs at some point, because they were in the trailer, but I don't know when. Anyway, this guy seems like he's... killable. Oh, I just noticed that he has a, like, um, sleeping nose bubble going on there. So you need to kind of hit him to activate him. That's why he doesn't just immediately attack. Okay, I should probably get on this side, because it's easier to fight him from this side. Okay, there we go. That's what I want to do. Now he'll do that. Just makes me think of Bleach. Let's see. Here we go. At least he doesn't really have many invincibility frames. You can kind of just wail away on him if you get a good distance going. Just need to be really careful with positioning because it's very easy to walk into. Cool, we got the sword. Uh huh. Well, that seems better than our punching glove because it hits above a bit. I think it also might have a little bit more range. Not sure if the glove has any advantages over the sword. I maybe it gets upgrades because otherwise, why would I ever use it? over this, like, why is it even in my inventory? I'm guessing it gets upgrades. That's probably what those, um, little lines are for. Each ability, each weapon probably gets, like, a charge attack, or a spell that you use while you have that weapon equipped or something. Probably not gonna find out, though, because we only have a minute 30. I'm gonna give this game a little bit more time than the 15, like I said I will for some games, because for one, it seems pretty fun so far, 
And for another, I kind of lost a lot of time from just kind of being an idiot and not going to the checkpoint when I went down here. So, let's explore this watery area a little bit more. Oh man, these things really charge at you. I didn't realize they kind of just homed in on you like that. Sword is pretty strong, though. Anything over here? I don't remember if there's fruit. Yes, there is. Fruit. Oh, that was a full heal fruit, too. Yeah, I'll take that. Man, he drops like a rock on the screen transition. I guess that's why they put this here. Just drops like a rock in general. That looks like something that would drop on me. It is. These fish are really aggressive. <laughs> Let's go left. Okay, it's Butler, good dude. What do you have to say, Steven? Watch this guy end up being the true final boss. Okay. Let's add another minute or two to the timer. There, I give it three more minutes. Reminds me a bit of Henry Hatsworth, if anyone's played that. Just these, like, dapper gentlemen going off on adventures and killing each other. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm glad I went that way first, because save points are always nice. Okay, there's some spikes. These are some very Kirby-ish spikes. I mean, this whole game is a bit Kirby-ish, right? We kind of look like a Kirby. A cat Kirby. Okay, these I need to wait on. Oh, that fish is right in the way. Die fish. They're an octopus. Hmm, well, it's not a mini-boss or anything, but I wonder if killing it does anything. Oh, it blinded me with ink. How long does this last until I screen transition? I hope it lasts until the screen transition no longer. Okay. There we go. Got like a... What is this? Looks like a CD. Oh, it lets us go through ledges. What is it, though? Oh, it's a cloak. I guess that's a cloak inside a, like, just square. Oh, no, I see it now. The inside... Okay, the black part's the inside, and then you have the mantle and all that. Okay, that was a bit hard to make out with the color palette. You don't remember if Henry Hatsworth was fun or not? Uh, Henry Hatsworth has a really odd thing where the... Like, the first two worlds are easy to the point where it's kind of tedious. Then the difficulty gets kind of nice in World 3, and then it skyrockets for the rest of the game. And I like the later levels a lot. Um, but if you enjoyed the early levels, you would hate later levels, because it gets ridiculously hard later on. And it starts so easy, and then you, um... Also have, like, New Game Plus hard mode, where the game is just pretty hard right off the bat. And they change up enough that feels pretty different. Okay, might be stopping this game here, I guess. We got some abilities. I think that showed the game in general. We fought a mini-boss. Uh, so yeah, that was fun. I think this game's pretty good so far. It looks like we're 12% done, but... Or... 12% of the map uncovered. Can I zoom out on this map at all? I don't seem to be able to, which is a bit of an issue. But yeah, um, that seems to show the game off a lot. And this game's pretty cheap. I don't remember how much it is. I think it's under 5? It's not more than 5. I'm pretty sure, at least. And yeah, seemed fun so far. Not sure how long it is. 
I get the feeling it's not super long, but it's fun for what it is. Anyway, let's move on to the next one as soon as I find out how to close this game. Okay. Oh, let's watch him go into the cannon. There we go. Okay, next up... Let's see, how can we change this up a bit? Let me actually get the list going. I have a bunch of games, but I don't have a specific order in mind. Uh, let's do this one, because this is the other one I wanted to really do yesterday, but OBS was acting up a whole lot on me. So this is... Don't Open the Doors, which I'm really curious about, because it looks really fun, but it kind of has a bit of a mixed um, rating on Steam, not that that really means anything. It also has... let me open up OBS to see... Yeah, okay, good, you can see the menu. So, it also has this Twitch thing here. I'm not going to do anything here because I don't know what the Twitch parts are. Um, I did look through these sayings, I haven't played the game itself. The difficulty started on hard, which is really odd. I don't know if that means that it wants you playing on hard or what? <laughs> because like, there's easy normal hard, and it starts on hard. So, I put it down to normal, but you know what, it started on hard, so let's put it back on hard. Because if you hadn't looked in the sayings to begin with, that's the saying, that's like, the difficulty most people would play at, probably. Just because they assume that's the default. So, let's get right to it, and go into story mode. Long ago, our life was peaceful. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they began to appear. The doors. Everybody had to leave the city. I but really like the settings for this. Have invented the mega bomb. It's really that creative. Explode the main door. That's why we need you. What? Of course I am a real scientist. Okay, well that was a very abrupt, abrupt opening though. I'm kind of getting right to it, right? Good. I don't like overly long openings. Let's talk to this guy. We have one option. We got an achievement for that. Okay. I think this is for the music they used in the trailer, too. It's a good song. Well, let's just pick the odd ones first. I'm just going to keep picking the questions that don't end the dialogue. <laughs> no, I should, because we're on the timer. Okay. Deal with the monster in the dungeon. Okay. Oh, he killed the bug. So I don't seem to be able to attack at all yet. I assume I can't attack at all. I'm pressing every button. Hmm. Movement when I try using the um, D-pad, like, doesn't work sometimes, which is odd. Okay, so let's go here. There's the key I need. No, I don't think it's E-style combat. <laughs> oh, we're talking to the pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. There we go. 
I guess we get to kill the monster now. Is this the monster? No. Let's see. Oh, I guess it's the monster. Huh. Had a pretty, like, short and simple opening, but there's quite a bit of dialogue to get, to deal with. I mean, I guess not deal with, but... Hmm. Like... I, I guess the thing with this dialogue is it's all just humor and it's not like my choices are making a difference other than in what branch of dialogue I get, but I don't think the outcome can change. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I need to find a weapon. Oh! Oh, wow. I didn't think I was stepping on the thorns, but I guess I was. It's isometric, so it's going to take a little bit to get used to the, um... Perspective. Yeah, like... So... He does this when I press up and down. He doesn't move properly. When I press up and down on the D-pad. Left and right work fine, but up and down for some reason on the D-pad don't work. Like, on the analog stick they work just fine, though. Very strange. There is sometimes a choice. Do I want the money or do I not want the money? I want the money. There we go. That was kind of risky. Because I didn't realize there were fans there right away. Oh, stupid thorns. They kind of just look like rocks. Got a mallet. Okay. Yeah, lots of fluffy dialogue. Like, just not really there for any purpose. It's not bad, but I feel like it was quite a bit before they let me do anything. In terms of just combat. Oh, those are collectibles. I'm getting bug antennae. Um, can I squash the pumpkins? I do not seem capable of squashing pumpkins. But I can go around them. And steal their money. And I like how the game looks. Oh, stupid thorns. Again, I just keep not recognizing the thorns as thorns. They... I think it's the coloration, they just look like little rocks, so I keep expecting to just kind of do nothing with them. But no, they hurt. Combat's fluid enough. Like, it's not super fluid, because you have a relatively slow hammer, but it's not choppy feeling or anything. Feels very simplistic so far, which was one of the things that people bought up, but I feel like, hey, it's the very start of the game, of course it's going to be simplistic. Really don't know what any of this money is for yet. I'm assuming I want it, though. Now there's money here. Can I squash these? No. Currently in the middle of learning why I can and cannot break, I suppose. This looks breakable. That giant chest, just like all the other ones I broke. Oh, no, it's a mimic. Or something. I kinda accidentally skipped the dialogue, but whatever, it's dead now. Okay, we squashed the chest. Okay, time to go to the exit, I suppose. 
There wasn't anything over here, right? No, just that one bug. And yeah, I guess I want to enter the door. Oh, the guard is very upset that I have a hammer. I can just kill this guy. I can't talk to him, I can just kill him. Which, okay. Sure, let's do it. Wow, we really murdered him. Why not? He wanted to just get us killed by the monster, I suppose. So I guess the guards just kill people. <laughs> Why not? Was he the guy that I just murdered, or was there a different gate? Anyway, there's a chest here. Oh, it has a note. Hmm. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this game to have swearing in it. I mean, it's very mild, but... I don't know. Uh, for some reason, I was expecting this game to be a bit more, I don't know, all ages friendly. But I guess it is pretty violent. Very violent clay. So far, the best thing about it is definitely the aesthetic. Like, combat isn't bad or anything, but it definitely would not be anything all that great if it wasn't for the aesthetic either. Hmm. Oh, this guy's going to kill me. Yeah, I know there's no entry. Leave me alone. <laughs> the other guy didn't fight back. <laughs> oh, he is still mad at me. I thought that he kind of was done because he wasn't chasing me into the corner. Oh, I died. Load the latest saved game. Over here. Okay, I guess screen transitions are probably where the game saves. Hmm. Let's see. Eh, well, that guy gets to leave this time because I don't feel like killing him. Uh-huh. So I guess the door guard are just evil, and might in fact be guarding the door. Okay, let's follow this guy. We have lots of more talking than I was expecting. Like, I was expecting this game to have kind of comedy dialogue, but I was also kind of expecting it to be mostly optional. Yeah, let's see what's in the door. Hmm. Also, maybe let's poke around this area a little bit. I guess I didn't get the chest last time, but I still don't know what to use the money for. Nope. Here we go. Let's go in the door. I also have no idea how long this game is. 
I'm under the impression that there's quite a few doors, but I don't know how big each of those doors is. Oh yeah, I'm still not healing at all. I wonder if I can heal. I'm, there has to be some way to. I'm collecting all these items. Like... Maybe this berry? Okay, I need five berries for a jar. Okay, I've found 3% of doors, so there's... This game's apparently pretty lengthy. So maybe it just has a bit of a slow start. Anyway, let's get some more money. Don't know what I need it for, but it's here. Said down that one screen that there's nine abilities to learn, it looked like. I don't know if I need to buy the abilities, or if you just find them as the game progresses, or... I'm guessing you buy healing items. Oh, that's a pill. That's probably healing. It was, I think. Yeah, I was under 100. Okay. Boy, this is bringing back Equinox vibes. Except you can't jump in this one. For better or worse. <laughs> Probably for better. Isometric 3D um, jumping it w is not very good. <laughs> it's very confusing. Okay, so there's the healing items I was wondering about. We're pretty much at the 15 minute mark, but since you seem to only be able to save when you exit doors, let's maybe go ahead and finish up this area. Like, the other area wasn't particularly long. So, let's see. Okay, if you want to play Equinox again, go for it. I beat it once and had my fill. You should play Solstice, with no save stating. Or play Equinox without using a guide. Of any sort. Oh, that was a bad time to look at chat. I wasn't expecting projectiles from a weird spike bush. Okay, I can't kill it yet. Okay, I can kind of crush my way through this, though. I'm just going to avoid those things, they hurt a lot. The flowers are bleeding. Here's a door within the door. Red bu bugs went red and exploded. Mm-hmm. I'll let the bug live. For now. I guess that was the whole area. Or no, this is an entirely different thing. I figured that door would just also serve as an exit. Are you friendly? Okay, so this is a special event door. Hmm. Oh, we're getting a new ability. This seems like a good thing to do and then call a stream for um this game. So every time we get a book and door, we get a new ability. I mean, healing or... Ooh, these are both kind of nice. But let's go for the one that has, you know combat capabilities. Uh-huh. Where can I find more bombs? I, I don't know when explosive helis is. Is it these things? I planted a bomb. I guess it's these things. No, that's a farina. How many bombs do I have? Was that my only one? 
Yes, it was. I'm sure glad I just wasted it. What if I went down here? I don't think I can. There's nothing here yet. Okay. I assume I'll be able to get all the abilities eventually. Next time it'll probably give me a choice between the healing thing and something new. Oh, look at that. Secrets I'll need to get the next time I play this because we're resetting. Okay, that's a good stopping point for this. Um, so, so far, I liked Cat's B more, I think. It also, I think this game's more expensive than Cat's B, if I remember right. Like, not too much more, but more. Um, which, you know, understandable because production values, like, the whole thing's made of clay. This probably took a lot of effort to make. But, um, yeah, combat-wise, it feels a bit simplistic, and the dialogue is... It, it's charming, but it's also a bit hit and miss. There were a few times where I kind of just wanted the conversation to be over with so that I could get back to the gameplay. Boy, I sure hope it saved when I left that door like I thought it did. Game's a bit unclear about exactly when it's saving. Anyway... Uh, let's see... Next up... Trying to vary up what type of games we get here. Uh, let's do this one. Because I'm curious about it. This is another game that had a kind of mixed review, but also didn't have many reviews. And... I don't know, it looked pretty good from the trailer, but... And from the description, but, you know. Uh, OBS? Care to capture it? Yes. Okay, there we go. Star Waker. Oh, it looks like it... No. Oh. Does it have... It has controller support, but if it's letting me aim with the mouse... Um, it was having a mouse radical. There we go. Then I'll probably do mouse and keyboard, because mouse aiming is always easier to do than controller aiming if you're going to be aiming at all. What is the difference? Normal mode... Bullets are slower... Okay, no, we'll do hardcore mode. I, I was figuring hardcore is like, you get limited. Nice. Um, okay, so here's a thing that I'm going to just point out right now. This warning message, this game can do seizures for people with photosensitive, photosensitive epilepsy. Um, not sure how flashy this game's going to be, but hey, if you have epilepsy, maybe skip this part of the video. If you're watching on YouTube or anything, I'll put timestamps on the bomb. So, yeah. Again, this is blind, so I don't know. It might just be there as a just-in-case thing, but, you know. Let's try this anyway. Yes, yeah, so let's play the tutorial. I'll start the timer after the tutorial. Actually, no. I'll just start now. An, an overly long tutorial is a bad thing, too. So, let's see if the tutorial is of the right length. Uh-huh. Theotorial. Is it a joke on tutorial? Just like Toriel was in Undertale. <laughs> let's see. Move your ship. Do you know how to move a ship? What? Um... ZQSD! Yeah, I think that I'm going to go ahead and change those controls. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> Is this meant for, like, a non-English keyboard by default, maybe? Because, um... CQSD is, um, not exactly good at all. <laughs> Vector, da 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 Move plus space. Okay. It's a dash. But I seriously need to change these controls as soon as I can. 
no disembodied voice, it's a dash. Avoid the bullets, press A. Oh god, no. To hack the shift, press right mouse button. Oops, I missed the shift. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna need to change a bit. Okay. So, all three items share the same consumable energy. And hacking can be done for free. Uh huh. Okay. So, yeah, this tutorial is going on a bit too long. This tutorial is a bit too talky. It's not awful, but I've had my fill of it, so it should, I hope it's ending soon. Hey, we have a drill now. Da -da -da -da. Lots of flavor text. Okay, this is kind of not a great tutorial. Like, I can press A to skip, I guess. I, I, I don't need a tutorial on every single weapon type. Oops, I missed that because I was trying to get through it too quickly. Shoot to charge the ionic beam. Oh, I had to hack it first. Wait, oh wait, right click was... Right, now we destroy it. Now we charge the ionic beam. And now we just unleash it. Okay. And we got a thing. Oh my god. This has been a five minute tutorial so far. Okay. Right now I mostly want to get through the dialogue so that I can change these controls, and I really hope there's a way to change these controls because Q and Z to move up and down is not happening. I could use a controller, which I assume has normal enough controls, but again, mouse aiming is usually better if we're going to have 360 degrees of movement. Okay, we have a little ship AI called Bard. That's a cute design. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the, um, backstory. The exposition. Yeah, this is kind of like a shoot them up ish RPG ish thing, which is why there's dialogue at all, but th this is a bit top heavy in terms of dialogue. 
but maybe that was mostly due to the tutorial just being very wordy. Okay, yeah, that was significantly less wordy than the tutorial. Oh, oh good, keyboard configuration. Almost missed it there. Um, left key, what? No, left is A, right is D. Uh, down is S, special movement in space. But I'm curious as to what happens because dashing was like A, or what? Or on one of the things was A. Oh wait, there's... There we go. Okay, that's fine. The voider is Q. There we go. Death Ray can stay at E. Pause and cancel are both escape. Let's put pause, enter. Or oh wait, no, that's. I can't set it to escape because escape. <laughs> it um, it is exit. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, I need to do this again. I think. Oh, you know they saved. A, D, W, S, space, da da. I'll add another minute because of all of this. Okay, well, let's save that and go back. And go back. Okay, Artemis Dusnar, or however you're supposed to pronounce that. No, we already did quite enough talking. Don't need to click on the talk thing. Okay, it's mountains. A million people live here. And we're going here. Okay, so these are the three ships. We have this one, which was the default one, I think. That's the one with the drill. And that's the ionic beam. I like the one with just straight up missiles. The kind of default one. Let's see. Is this the description that we need over here? Oh, no, we're just doing it test run, I guess. Not sure what the goal is. Probably just kill things and hack that one thing. Oh, it's auto-scrolling. I was under the impression that you kind of had free-form movement the whole time. Where it would be like kind of one big interconnected thing to move through. So, more of a standard shmup than I thought, I guess. That's quite a few ships. Great generic music so far. This is probably the weakest game in terms of aesthetics at this point. Ooh, yeah, I'm really not feeling the soundtrack. Okay, this is a mini boss type thing. Or it's a planetary defense shield that I guess I need to break through. Let's do it. I could use the death ray, but let's see. Well, let's try using it. I don't know um, if I assume consumables are carried through levels and don't restock and don't um, restock between levels, which is why I didn't really want to use that. But I think it's also important to confirm that if that's the case or not. Did I just need to destroy all the like gray things? Oh no, the time limit. Or do I need to? make it to the planet. Oh, okay. I just need to make it to the planet. I got plus one fury. Golden rings destroyed four. Time to beat 130, so I didn't get all of these. I don't know what the golden rings were. You mean the things that on like the sides? I kind of thought I destroyed enough, or am I not supposed to destroy them? That's a bit unclear. The, um, drill ship really doesn't seem that good. So, just because there's all those turrets that you can't really destroy in that case. So it seems like it would be super risky to use. Okay.
Okay, so we need a cure for the virus. I get the feeling this is the type of game that probably does pick up once it gets going, but it's taking a while to get going. Like, it's clear that we're going to get upgrades and stuff, and they'll open up later. Or at least I, it certainly feels that way. But right now we don't really have access to any of that. I mean, we can go to ship. There we go, look, we have a skill tree. We have multiple skill trees, in fact. So it looks like we have one for all the ships, and then we have one that is specific to each ship. So the one we're using, I believe, is the... Aleko? Or is it the Megara, because that's the one that's highlighted? No, this talks about Ion Beam, so it has to be this one, the Electo. Uh, well, this game also has a lot more levels than the average mob. Like, it's not just six or eight levels, but yeah, it's quite a bit of text. Let's see, so we can get a shotgun turret going on. And let's just take this damage plus 20%, right? Like, that seems pretty good to me. And this one's new, so let's go here. So if I scroll right... Okay, that's all just lore. Time limit, golden ring objective. Okay, so I guess the objective is to not destroy golden rings. I think. I guess make it a bit harder on yourself. I am glad that they tell you where enemies are going to spawn in from. Definitely not fan of music though. It's a super generic. Oh, that got a bit crazy awfully quickly. Game? Wow. Y yeah, that kind of picked up unexpectedly. I mean, it's a shmup RPG, like it advertises itself as much. Like, I don't mind the concept, it's just that I'm not really invested in the plot or anything at all right now. And I'm not sure if you really ever will be, because it seems a bit threadbare so far. Okay, let's destroy the things that are coming in from behind me. Let's maybe use this also. I should probably use my dashing more. Yeah, this is not really hard really fast. Dashing helps a whole lot, though. And I just have this bundle of things and this thing chasing me in this one chip in the corner. So I think that I'm pretty much safe at this point. I haven't gotten up to the boss proper, which is going to be all those rings again, I guess. My HP is also less than 50%, so we're not getting all the medals. Okay. So, blue are just ones I can't break. I don't want to break gold. I'm, I don't really get penalized that hard for not breaking gold by losing... Well, I already broke the gold, so... Okay. I want to open up a bit of a wider gap before I try going into the central area. Come on. There. You know what? That's good enough. I didn't get any of the medals. Oh, right! That's right. You can hack the blue ones. I forgot all about that. Yes, you can hack the blue. That's what you're supposed to do with the blue. Should've not spaced out so much on the tutorial, I guess. But that's what happens when you make your tutorial full of a bunch of flavor text. It makes it really hard to care about the tutorial. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, well we got access, and that's a 15 minute time limit for this game. I'll give it... let's give it one more mission. Just because so much of it was that tutorial. Okay. How much time do we have left? Okay, so our character has one week to find a cure. The process will take a week. Uh-huh. Every battle feels easier than the last one. That is a lie. <laughs> I guess that he got uncryoed pretty quickly. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, glasses on, glasses off. See that we've hit a text bubble once again. I wasn't expecting quite this much text between every single mission, but maybe there's just a lot at the start. Like, it's really hard to tell if it's top heavy or not. We can also just go here. Oh no, that's a tutorial. Don't want to go there again. I also don't know what the, um, color means. Oh, the color is probably the number of medals we've gotten. And now we don't need to talk again. So, let's look at this real fast. HP minus one. No, thank you. HP plus two or... D oh, these are... So you either make your ship more offensive and lose HP, or gain HP, gain a lot of HP and take way more, and lose this damage buff that you got with the first point. Is there a way to get your HP back up? Wow, that's weird. Damage plus 40, ray of fire minus 10, followed by ray of fire plus 20. And then, these are so weird. Oh, there's an HP up at the very end, okay. So you can get your HP up back, I guess. And then if you get every single one of these, you can get this star. Or, I don't know how this split works. I don't know if it's that you need to get this one and this one to get the final one, or if it's just one or the other. That's kind of a crazy final upgrade, though. Let's look at the upgrades for our individual ship, since I kind of like this ship a lot. Just rate of fire plus 10, crit damage, but crit chance down. Uh, missiles get a small area of effect. Hmm. I don't know if, like, we can swap between these things, maybe? I'm going to just go the boring route and take rate of fire plus 10%, though. Oh! We have separate things for the separate ships. Oh, maybe that's what the medals are, then? Hmm. Like, maybe the harder medals are for the individual ships, and then the just you did it medals are for the um, overall ship. I kinda want to take this one while holding off until I can maybe get something else on top of it. Because 2 HP doesn't sound good right now. I need. And I guess I could just take both of them eventually, and then Kaya end up with plus 1 HP and plus 20% damage, right? So let's just not take anything. And this will be the last mission before we move on to the next game. Like, we have that one, and that one, and there's the Electo that we've been using. 
could try this, but I don't know. I kind of like the missiles. Oh, they really could use it. I think this is a new song, but sounds so similar to the other song. Just all this, like, edgy hard rock. I like the little dumb pew pew noises the ships are making though. So these like spike things seem like they speed up once they get close to you because that other one the other time around was moving quite quickly. The game kind of doesn't mess around. I guess this is why there was normal and hardcore mode like this is challenging. Like, it doesn't have the best graphics. Uh, like, it's far and away the weakest looking and sounding game of the three so far tonight. But, I don't know. It's. It's not bad to play. Ow. I'm super dying. I do like that your ship grows over time. I like that you're getting skill points and stuff, and that this is more of a long form game. And I guess it's boss time now. Or whatever you want to call this. Spinning Fraxy Boss of Doom. Man. Uh, I just made myself a bit sad to know that Fraxy is pretty much a dead game. I love Fraxy to death, but that game's time has come and gone. No one makes bosses for that game anymore. I got like one or two games that are Fraxy-ish on Steam that I haven't played yet. But... Looking at them, they don't have quite as much, like, customization as Fraxy does. It looks a lot more like, um, was it Warning Forever, I think? Where it's a lot more basic. I probably shouldn't be bothering to destroy each and every single one of these. Oops, that's not hacking, that's a death beam. Okay, well, I hacked the turret, but I can't seem to hack the wall itself. I don't know, the music is going into looping mode. I guess the turret is just kind of gone now, because I hacked it. Oops. Okay. I'm certainly not hanging the time limit. Oh, wait. I did. Actually, it wasn't blinking, so I think I hit... No, never mind, I really missed it. Okay. Well, I'm terrible at getting medals. It seems like it would be easier if I went back to the first level and got the ones I missed, because that would be more upgrades. Or, you know, just come back after I upgrade the ship with the basic upgrades a bit more. Okay, so after this conversation, we'll be moving on to the next game. Trying in fair condition. A mighty battle, I'm not quite sure. Level 2 seemed harder than that still. I guess there were more enemies this time, but I feel like level 2 just threw a lot at you from all directions, whereas this time they all came from the right. Like how upset the robot is. that I'm not, that like I'll start taking a penalty if I just keep using the same ship? Or does that just mean, hey, you have more things you can try using? Hmm. This song's actually okay. I kinda like this weird cosmic techno. It's not 
great, but it's fitting. I, I can kind of get into it a bit. Okay, so let's just go into ships and make sure I don't have anything here. Yep, I just have this. Let's just learn both of these. There we go. That seems like a pretty good trade-off. We got, what, 20 damage out of it and 1 HP. Yeah, that's a pretty good trade-off. I'll take it. It seems like, in general, waiting for two stat points is really good because you kind of want everything anyway and then you kind of instead of really hurting yourself in one way and buffing yourself a lot in one way you just get kind of an overall buff and I guess if you really wanted one thing in particular like if you just cared about rate of fire you would just kind of go down this left path no or this right path because it also gets rate of fire up eventually level up screen is the best track so far yeah, I can agree to that. This is a pretty good, chill, cosmic thing going on. I guess I just have a point that I can spend on this ship because of that one medal that I got. <laughs> I don't know when Omni Bullet is. Oh, right, those are the things that you use for your abilities. Uh, and yeah, sure. Wait, what's this saying? Gain a bonus hack after using bonus hack. So I think this ship in particular is the one that can hack the blue shields, which is the main advantage it has. Let's just gain Omni Bullets. I guess that this one is sort of the um, consumable item ship. And this one's kind of the bread and butter ship, and this one's the weird melee ship. Man, this ship is has a weird skill tree. It seems like it's a whole lot of invulnerability to make up for the fact that you're charging straight ahead at enemies. Anyway, yeah. Um, as you can see, this whole thing is just Deuce Nar, but there's... I know that there's multiple solar systems or whatever that you go into, like... I don't know how long this game is, but I know it's pretty long. We're still very early on, but that's gonna do it for Star Waker. I'm going to close out of it now. Can I close it from options? Yes, I can. I have a little X in the corner that I can just click because I'm playing in windowed mode, but I may as well close it legit way to make sure that nothing breaks. Um, I'm just checking the store page to see exactly what it says fast. And that game's 10 bucks normally. I feel like that's a bit pricey for it, but I got it on sale. I don't remember how much, but it was pretty cheap. Seems like it could be fun. Um, it says almost 40 levels. So, and you're getting a good chunk of content. The levels are very short, but they do seem to pick up. I assume that there's more enemies as you go on. Anyway, um, I was going to do an RPG after that, but that was very talky. So, let's move on to a different one instead. There's two that I'm kind of curious about. Um, let's do this one. This one seems to have a mostly not favorable review. But, again, we'll see. Steam reviews are really hard to go by when there's not many of them. When there's like less than 10 reviews for a game, you're really just kind of relying on a very small handful of people to inform you. And sometimes those people are very wrong about a whole lot of things. I am trying to use my controller to move this mouse around or this cursor around and the game is not having it so fine I'll use I won't use the controller game so this game's called Fum Shadows I don't know much about it it's I know it's an action platformer of some sort I know you can play as either a vampire or a werewolf and they have different abilities and that is the full extent of my knowledge oh okay Maybe it's, like, very RPG-heavy. Ooh, vampire and werewolf. <laughs> That's a very ugly werewolf. Let's see... It's probably gonna be vampire, because they probably have more interesting abilities, and probably a bit more magey. 
cocaine. Blah, blah, blah. Lost consciousness. Discovered he had begun to transform into a werewolf. I was hoping this would tell me about their skill set a bit, maybe. There we go. Powerful living weapon. Emotions over... No, that... Oh, okay. Gradually heals itself. Count Malagosh? It's a bit hard to make out some of those layers. Um, betrayed by his wife. These are some interesting names. Is that his wife, Grayet? I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. And Trendrick. I don't think these are real human names, but okay. Uh, oh, he does travel with Igor, though. Or Igor, perhaps. Um, vampiric abilities allow him to leech healing life force from his opponents. Charm lesser creatures to do his bidding. Hmm. The charm thing sounds boring, but let's go vampire anyway. That's what I was intending to try out, so let's try it. There we go. We can just look at talents, I guess. Okay, these are all of our abilities. Let's check them out. I haven't started the timer yet because, hey, we're just doing character creation and I want to give the game a real chance. Okay, life leech goes up. Oh, that seems really good. Um, mana regeneration sounds really good. Future of the Night. Yeah, the vampire is definitely the more magey one. Dodge and attack. Ooh, spell casting speed. Well, depending on the spells, yes, please. Oh, we can have pets for gems. Okay, let's start this game. Um, oh, do I just click on two stage, I guess? It's the tutorial. I'm not allowed to skip it. I don't know what the 0 through 10 means. This is like stage of 0 through 10 or 0 out of 10. Anyway, gather soul crystals, complete combat training, survive the day, and drink the potion. Let's do it, I guess. This reminds me of the, um, Lords of Shadow map. The Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Just the way this map looks over here. Which may or may not be intentional. Timer starting now. Okay, we're allowed to press tab to skip. Okay, there's demons in the town. That is an ugly vampire. <laughs> Also, the game's in full screen. I'm looking at chat on the other monitor, but if the game's not recording properly in any way, just go ahead and let me know. Hmm. Okay, chat is going. It's automatically progressing. So, I'm not going to press anything because it seems like it's either let progress at its own speed or skip it entirely. I don't want to do that. Well, let's see how this tutorial goes. The last one was five minutes long and very wordy. This one's a bit wordy, but doing exposition, so that's kind of okay, rather than just technobabble. Okay. I do wish I could make the text go faster without skipping it. And I'm afraid to touch anything. Maybe I can, but I'm afraid to touch anything. Oh, that was it. Uh, controls. I, I would love to follow you. Uh, controls? It's... I guess I'll be using my controller after all, since um, the keyboard's not working. Okay, we have that. Also, um, I forget if I said the name of this game and if it appeared on the tile screen, of all things. So, this is from Shadows, in case that was not there. Oh no, we're at 50% health. That arrow is... Okay, that's a checkpoint. That arrow, by the way, is not my mouse cursor or anything, it's just the objective arrow. Okay, I can just kind of do this stuff as the talking's going on. We'll start with basic training. Did I just complete it? 
Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, those crows are getting really annoying. <laughs> Unique gemstones with them. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Down plus A to go through that. Yeah, yes. I, I know. I, I got the gemstones, old man. Th they were very easy to collect. Can I just kill you? No. Okay, it's just going through that. Okay, we do have multiple abilities. Oh, we have range attack. That uses up my MP, though. Control's fine so far. And you can do a little bit of a combo chain. So that's, let's see, weak, weak, heavy, weak, heavy. Okay, so weak, heavy is a different attack altogether. Okay. Does weak range do anything? No, range is just its own thing. Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh-huh. Already on it. Thanks, Cornelius. You're a real help. Oh, I can... Okay, this is what happens when I hold down my heavy attack. If I hold down normal attack, I do this. Which I guess is my charm ability, maybe? Nothing happens when I hold down ranged. I did it. Thanks. Uh-huh. Arrow, what are you pointing at? I'm not allowed to attack innocence. Uh... Oh, hide in barrel. How do I hide in barrel, game? There's a barrel here. But I don't know how to interact with it, and I'm dying while this dialogue is going on. <laughs> Cornelius, Dawn approached a bit early there. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think they expected me to go through the combat tutorial so fast, perhaps. Let's try that again, maybe. <laughs> I don't know how to hide in the barrel. And the sun was killing me. I'm guessing the werewolf doesn't die from the sun. Yeah, we already did that. We are Okay, so that's not skipping. It just makes it progress faster. That's not what skip means, game. But okay. I think this game has two-player support, which is why it has a countdown, I guess. Not entirely sure on that. Okay, so how do I hide in a barrel game? I am pressing every button. Do-do-do. Okay, let's kill some scarecrows again. Huh? Already on it, Cornelius. I so can't just duck into the barrel. Uh huh. Yep, you sure did. I assume he just means... Calm. Just means to do that. Like, this isn't damaging it. So... Whatever. Okay, Cornelius. We got... There's an arrow here. Uh-huh. 
Dawn approaches hide. I is this hiding? This is not hiding. Uh, I'm just immediately taking damage when I resurrected. Game? Game. Seriously. Okay. If I press down and, um, I guess A, I'm using a controller so it's X normally, is how I hide. Oh, what? Oh no, he saw me though. No, oh, but it's night now. That's a pretty bad part of the tutorial. Oh, down plus a oh, that down plus A was for the barrel. I didn't notice this new sign. Yeah, it's down plus A. It assumes I have an Xbox controller. Drink the potion. Is... Right trigger, I guess? Okay. Okay. Well, I did it. Still don't know what this stuff is. Okay, that's... Oh, so this is just me levels 0 through 10. I wonder how many levels there are in that case. Vanquish the first demon, enter the portal, explore the dungeon, destroy the crystal of insanity, and flee. Okay, well that tutorial went on for a while because of the ending killing me. Yeah, I didn't realize that was letting me resurrect for free because I was busy figuring everything else out and then the timer went away. <laughs> And then it failed me. Okay. Kill every demon. Oh, we got some gems. Oh, there's a demon. Do I want to kill the scarecrow game? Hmm. We have kind of a sonic punch going on. But mostly I care about the fact that the Scarecrow is dead. I'm not allowed to hide in barrels unless it's day, which is a bit odd. Like, I'm pressing down an A and nothing happens. Oops. So what does this do to a demon if I do the... What does that do? Nothing. Okay. Not yet, at least. Really not sure what that attack is. Maybe he... Maybe I didn't hit him enough, like, because he was kind of on the edge of it when it went off. I assume that was, like, the charm spell, but I'm not sure entirely. And combat feels fine enough. It's almost day, so I'm gonna need to hide in this dumb barrel. Hey. I have 200 experience points. I guess once you're hiding, it accelerates time, unless you're found. At which point you need to kind of book it. Oh, you're not an imp. I need to really kill this thing pretty quickly. I assume the werewolf does not get nice ranged attacks like the vampire. I don't know. The Scarecrow is defending the Imp. <laughs> yeah, I like the parallax scrolling now that you mention it. It's pretty good parallax. And the game looks fine. No, no, still not day. I do wish I could hide in the barrels when day was approaching, just so that I could be in one in advance. Okay, now it's day. I'll just hide in the barrel. Time is accelerating. I'm pretty sure I need to just hold down, down an A. Like the moment I let go of either, it would 
just screw me over, I think. Yeah, and then I just automatically pop out when night appears. I guess the one advantage to not letting you go into the barrels at night is it does automatically pop you out like that, so you're not accelerating time and wasting the night at all. All scared for must die. Oh, enemies just respawn. Or they spawn out of the portal, I guess. Okay. Okay. Okay, so those things are basically enemy summoning portals in the form of cultists. So, gotta prioritize them. Oh, they summon these guys. That's not good. Cool. There's another one. Do I have any potions? No, I don't. This is quite a few enemies. Uh, where is the cultist? There he is. He needs to really die. This room is getting legitimately pretty crowded now. Oh, there's a checkpoint. I want to kill these things before I move on. Well, Resurrection is pretty cheap. Or oh, actually it was free still, wasn't it? Oh man, that's a bit much. Oh, maybe that's blinding or something? Like an X appeared over them when they um entered it. That. Oh no, it's... what is that doing? Oh, it is Charm. Okay. I guess it doesn't make them attack their friends, but it stuns them, so I can just murder them. I do leech life a bit. Oh, there's a potion right there. I completely missed this one area that had a potion on it. Oh, this thing needs to die. Looks like I'm about halfway leveled. Yeah, I know, timer. That thing's nice. I can't quite tell what the soul stones are, if they're just MP up, or what. Okay, so LB changes what item I'm highlighting, and then RB drinks the selected item. Okay, so my range attack is what puts an X above them. I don't know what the X does, though. Oh, is that also, like, making them incapable of attacking? Because, because they seem to, like, just stand there when that's the case. So I should probably use this a bit more. It's doing something to them. Okay, that's really good. I definitely should be utilizing that more when there's a bunch of enemies. I think that the difference is that when they have the X, they can still move around. Whereas when I use my um, red attack, they are completely paralyzed. Oh, does the X mean I'm leeching health from them? Has my health only been going up when I do that? That I guess that's the case. Let's see. I figured that my other attacks could leech health too, though. Or I guess... Okay, I see the health coming from them, yeah. But they also kind of stop attacking while that's going on. Maybe because... Oh, you know why? Maybe because it's doing chip damage to them, and so it's stunning them after their fireball attack, and the imps are really slow. Like, slow enough to the point where that stun interrupts their attack constantly. I must have a level. Oh good, the cultist made things easier. Thanks, cultist, for just teleporting right to me. Oh yeah, because the other guys are still attacking, even with the X. That red attack is really hard to pull off. Seems like it's good against more melee enemies, because I can't charge it while... No, I guess I can charge it while moving, but only if I kinda... 
I don't have control over when it goes off, it seems to be the case. Like, once I'm on the ground and it's charged, it'll just go. I don't think I can use it in the air, though. It won't cancel the charge when jumping, but it just won't go off until I hit the ground. Or at least that's what it seems like. This guy is constantly overlapping. Real pain. <laughs> hey, cultist. Where'd you go, cultist? Oh, that's not good. Okay, cult is dead. Yeah, I should be opening with the magic attack more often. Because it's good. Man, these imps have a really nasty habit of overlapping with me if I'm anywhere near them. Game looks nice. Like, I, I feel like the artwork isn't great, but I kind of like the way things animate. I don't know, I kind of like the style, and there's a lot of little touches to it. Okay, so I just gotta kill the, um, Fistal of Insanity. Okay. Hmm, it looks like my level up orb is full. But maybe it only counts once I complete level. Let's leech some health. Really want to get that cultist going. Yeah, this game seems okay. I think it's only like three bucks too, or something. I know that this game's not very expensive at any rate. I should probably check now that I've ballparked the price. I'll probably want to confirm. Yeah, I think the white outline there is to highlight your character a bit more because everything is zoomed out a bit. Okay. Oh no. We're running away. That's just a cutscene. Yeah, we leveled up. Oh, we only needed a thousand experience level. But we got two thousand. So does that extra experience carry over, or is it just wasted, I wonder? So if I do choose monster and go to talents... Yeah, I don't think I can do anything here yet. The controller really doesn't like working as a mouse cursor on this screen on this screen for some reason. Okay, and I can get pets. Oh, hello, bat. I guess that these are shared between monsters, maybe. Or maybe not. Uh, what does this do? Resets talents. That's pretty good. Um, damage dealt by... For five minutes? Wow, that's nice. How long are these levels? Um, Drake and Shadowbat. What does the Owl Spirit do? Oh, that's nice. I assume it's, it also serves as an actual shield, because it says that's a shield, on top of explode. Oh, explodes when attacked. Okay, I thought I read that wrong as it explodes every 30 seconds or something. I was skimming it too much. Shadow Bat seems like the best one to go for off the bat, though, just for added life to um, leech. And I already have enough healing potions, so I'm not going to waste anything on those. So yeah, this game seems pretty fun. I wasn't sure of what to expect from this, but honestly, it's pretty good so far. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this one, though. I don't want to start another level, because we've already passed the 15-minute time limit, and... The levels seem not long, but long enough that it would take a bit. Um, no, the talent screen didn't seem to say what our current powers do. They were all passive things. That is a bit of an issue that it's not specific or clear about what your current stuff does. Anyway, I'm double checking the Steam page. I think it's three bucks, like I said. It, no, it is in fact a $1.99. Um, 
considering that I liked what I played of it, I think $2 is really good for this game. <laughs> it says there's 21 levels, so it's not super long. We already saw, depending on if they're counting the tutorial as a level, we already saw either one or two of those 21 levels. Um, and it says 24 menacing enemy types, which is a kind of low count, but not that low. Um, but like for two dollars, that seems honestly pretty good for two dollars. While I'm here, I'm also going to check on the prices of Star Waker and don't open the doors. Oh wait, Star Waker was ten, right? Yeah, I already checked on that earlier. Okay, so don't open the doors is the only one I didn't check on. I think just gonna look at all of these real fast before moving on. Don't open the doors is seven ninety nine. Again, it kind of on the pricey side, but hey, if you like the claymation art style, like it looks cool. And I honestly don't know how the game picks up. And then last of all, Cat's B is four ninety nine. So, yeah, th those prices seem about right. I feel like Don't Open the Doors is... Or, I feel like Star Waker is probably overpriced at 10 bucks. But, then again, it seems pretty lengthy. And we didn't see that much of it. So, who knows. Anyway, let's move on to the next one for the night. I have at least two more that I would like to get to. Uh, one of them is an RPG that I'm really curious about, but I think I want to hold off on it at for the moment. So let's try this one. And no, Avast, it's a it, it's a Steam game. It's fine. Hold on, sorry, uh, Avast is being annoying. There we go. This is going to be Xenia. Uh, it's full screened again. Um, there we go. Oh, OBS took a second to capture it. I'm going to turn the volume up a bit for this one on OBS because it sounds a bit on the low side. Let's do that. Oh no, I'm missing the opening cutscene. Okay. Okay. The warlock Skotos. Scotus? Don't know. I'm sorry, Overdrive Moogle died with the Yerio game sandbox. Um, some of this text goes awfully quickly. On the other hand, this one's taking its time. I think the thing is that each of those screens takes the same amount of time, but some of those screens had significantly more test, uh, text than the other ones. Anyway, this is Xenia. It claimed to be a Metroidvania? But it also claims that it has levels, so I don't know. Okay, let's follow the white lines to see what's up. Attack, or a shield. Okay, that seems fine. That is a mess of lines, though. <laughs> okay, um, so as you can see, there's not much in the way of options here. I'm not, I don't see any like full screen option or anything, just sound and controls. So I'm really, I have no idea how this game is. Um, we're going to play on normal, because... Uh, sorry. Because hard and hardcore sound like they just make the game less fun. Like, I'm assuming the checkpoint thing is the only thing that changes. There's no sound on the screen, or no music at least, which is worrisome. So what does this do? Okay, that's permanent health up. Aura of invincibility. I also don't know if this game has saving, or if it's checkpointing and you're supposed to do it all in one go. Um, either way, I'm starting the timer now. Okay. Recast time cut in half. That sounds good, assuming it's permanent. Uh-huh. I'm guessing this is consumable, even though it's not marked as such. Anyway, we're going to use... Let's see, press... Okay, how do I start? Okay, so here we go. We can attack. And we can attack. Okay, we have a double jump. Control's fine. 
Ooh, oh my god, um... So maybe I just saw things wrong, but the hitbox on our sword seems like it might be a bit bigger than the sword. Which is good for us, but that makes me worried about the other hitboxes. <laughs> okay, that's like a tick, I guess. Hmm. Well, I think this is probably the most aesthetically weak of the games today. Like, even weaker than Star Waker. Music's fine, but graphics are very, like... I don't know, kind of freeware game maker era. Very developer art looking. Like, the tiling's not bad, but the character and enemy sprites are kind of ugly. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with that, especially that snake. Like, Xenia kind of just look bland designs, I guess, in combat, but the outside of combat stuff looked nice. This one... Eh. Well, so far it controls fine. I feel like it's odd that when I slash fake walls like that one, um, there's not really any feedback. Like, the wall doesn't crumble or make noise, and it seems like it takes two slashes for it to break. Which is kind of odd. Our life, I just noticed, is also pulsating, like, realistic hearts. No, the color palette's not great, but that's not my main problem with this, I think. Okay, well, now that chest made sound feedback, the other one didn't. Hmm. Oh. Okay, well, good thing there was a checkpoint there. I tried letting go of the ladder and it didn't quite work. There it goes. I thought I could jump off the ladder, but you need to, like, press left or right. Pressing left or right lets go of the ladder, which is weird. Oh, wait, let's see that animation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. This is definitely a very... Not a my first game type of thing, because it's too competent for that, but like, my first serious attempt at a game type of thing. Yeah, that hitbox is... questionable. Yeah, I was kind of digging the music, but I'm getting really sick of this song. I don't want to be too down on this game, but... So far, this might be the weakest game of the night. We've had some pretty solid games tonight, though. I don't think I disliked any of them. Like, Don't Open the Door seemed like it had a very slow start, and I assume it gets better. Um, Star Waker, I'm not quite sure how to feel about. I, I, I liked it, but at the same time, it was very text-heavy in a way that felt like it didn't need to be. But yeah, um, like this one, I don't know, like it controls fine. It doesn't feel floaty or unresponsive or anything. It just feels very, I don't know, it feels very bland in a way. Not, not even necessarily bland because they're changing things up, I guess, but like all these enemies are kind of the same, they all kind of just walk left and right at slightly different speeds so far. And, I don't know, there doesn't seem to be anything particularly noticeable about it. Just kind of a bread and butter platformer, I guess. So yeah, I, I guess I'll say it feels a bit bland after all. Because that's basically what I'm getting at, right? Not really feeling very challenged by any of this, and all the enemies just sort of walk left and right so far, and this level is going on for way too long, and this music is seriously getting to me. <laughs> I think it's the music right now th that is getting to me the most, uh, honestly, because this is a pretty short loop, and I can't quite take it. Oh boy, that was the whole first level, huh? Um, well, we can't buy anything of note. I can buy that. 
Okay. So this is level two, and I assume this is the whole game map right here. Oh, wait, it's the same song. We have a new type of tick, or oh, spider, or whatever that is. Oh, it takes two hits. Now oh, those were non-threatening. Hmm. I... I might call this game short at this rate, just because I seriously can't take this song that much longer. It's... Let's see. I I'm curious as to just how much of a loop is. Like, this is kind of the start. And here's this part. Oh, I'm kind of getting stuck on the wall over here a little bit. Okay. And I think that's the song. Maybe not. No, it's going on a bit more, but it's that, like, even though it hasn't looped, it's already repeating, like, chords. Um. Okay, it's a longer loop than I thought. Okay, that's the loop. These things seem really non-threatening. <laughs> like, this part right here is the part of the song that I hate the most. Oh my god, so I'm going to say invincibility frames on that thing are a bit questionable because it stops flickering, so I hit it, but then it still doesn't take damage. So the invincibility frames are longer than the like flickering animation suggests. Not by a lot, but they do seem to be misaligned a bit. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the first game of the night that's making me feel kind of frustrated. Like, I, I get this is definitely feeling like a, like I said, like kind of my first serious game attempt, but the difference is that I'd, I'd cut this game a lot more slack if it was freeware. But, like, as a commercial product, this is lacking in a whole bunch of ways. Like, so far, there's been no variation. There's been no, like, spellcasters or, like, any sort of ranged enemy or, like, even a hopping enemy. So far, we have enemies that walk left and right and enemies that walk in left and right and take two hits. Like, the snake isn't reacting to me in any way. It's just there. Okay, well... Oh, did something happen with Twitch? Oh no, it's dropping frames like crazy. Yeah, may maybe Twitch hates this game. Um... Well, I didn't... I wanted to do at least one more game for tonight, but if OBS is starting to act up again, this might be the last game of the night. <laughs> um, let's see, I'll keep OBS open. I won't be able to see chat quite as much. Wow, it's dropping a ton of frames. OBS hates this game, or Twitch does. I'm going to see if it clears up. What is going on with OBS lately? It doesn't look like it's clearing up all that much. Hmm. Oh wait, maybe it is. Nope, never mind, it's getting worse. So this is probably going to need to be the last game of the night. Um, I might do more games uh, tomorrow, because tomorrow is a streaming day anyway. I might do another grab bag stream tomorrow instead of anything else. Uh, because there's a few more that I want to get to, but might need to cut this a little bit short. That's okay, though. I'm going to finish up this level, and then we'll call it a stream. Unless OBS gets better. Which it's not. Every single time I look at it, it's green, and then it immediately turns red. So... Oh, what is going on with that hitbox? Oh, I actually got hit by one of those. Monster, danger. 
I guess that means I should go this way first. This is not Metroidvania, by the way. Uh, what? I, I went right because the monster danger arrow was pointing down. Okay, let's go down instead then. Wait, do these stalactites have faces? It kind of looks like the- No, I don't think they do. It just looks like it a bit. Oh boy, is that just like blank space that they didn't fill in over there? And this is a point of no return. Oh wait, no, it's not. I have a double jump, right? No, never mind, it totally is. So was I supposed to go right, and there was something nice to the right that I missed? Oh boy. I'm going to let this thing kill me and go back to the checkpoint, because now I want to know what's to the right. Da da da. Okay, so the boss room is not where the monster danger sign was. Interesting. Boss? Okay. Hmm. Oops, I keep taking damage from those. Okay, let's go ahead and kill this boss and then call his stream. This boss doesn't really give you any warning. And it gives you a very slight warning, but your attack speed, like your attack range is so small that it doesn't really matter much. Okay. Oh, right. I'm too tall to just dodge that. I need to jump it. This boss sure spends a lot of time doing nothing. Yes, we know. Probably would be easier if I wasn't going to this with 3 health or 2 health even. I need to really stop hating those stalactites, but I'm getting- I keep getting very impatient. And part of it is also you just respawn very abruptly. Oh, this time I attacked right off the bat. Oh wait, no. So monster to the right, danger down. I see. So what happens if I just go down? Does that mean that I don't need to fight the boss? And this is just like a tough platforming challenge? That was a health to make up for the health I lost. So the monster is not in danger, though. Um, okay. Ooh. Well, you know what? There is a minute left on this timer. And OBS is still acting up, I think? Oh wait, no, did it clear up? Every time I say that, it goes red, so I'm not trusting it. Uh, but it's really not dropping at the moment, so I think it might have cleared up. Yeah, even though you flash when you respawn, you're not invincible. Um, if it cleared up, I guess I won't be stopping the stream. But, on the other hand, I don't know if it's going to get worse again, so it might be a good stopping point. We'll see. Yeah, ne either I beat this level on this life, or we are done. Either I beat it or I die, but I think that's it for this. I, I like that that's basically impossible to do anything about specifically because it, um you can't control the timing of the other platform, so either you get hit or you don't. Uh, and then we could keep going, and I'm 20 gold short of being able to increase my max life. Boy, um... Let's see if level 3 has different music. It does. Oh, and a different enemy. And a bunch of these.
You know, the tile music was pretty good in this game. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We're not doing the rest of this level. There's a little wizard guy over there and snail things that also don't really do anything. They just move left and right. Like so many of these enemies don't react to you, they just move left and right. I also like that we have a shield and we don't use it in any way. Like that thing is just the equivalent of a snake, except it's slightly longer, so I guess its hitbox is different. Are you evil? Yes. Okay. We're calling it here. So if I hit start, do I lose all of my progress? No. Okay. My progress is saved. Oh boy. I wonder if you're supposed to go through the maps multiple times because you're supposed to kill the bosses. Like maybe you get something from killing the bosses. Didn't mean to do back to map. Uh, but that's it for Xenia. Oof, I was expecting... I wasn't exactly expecting a lot from this game, but I was certainly expecting more than that from this game. Um, wow, that was really unenjoyable. Like, like, and I feel bad because it's pretty clear that's like a newer developer, but sometimes you need harsh criticism. Yeah, like, also looking at this, I'm just looking at the trailer real fast. Very first thing in the trailer, Xenia, a Metroidvania in ancient Greece. Judging by those first two levels, this is not all Metroidvania. Having little tiny secret rooms does not make it a Metroidvania. Like, having players choose between if they want to go to the boss or go to the difficult challenge at the end, it is not how that works. L like, unless later levels are really maze-like compared to the early ones. And yeah, it's five bucks. Like, that's... No, nah, th that game has issues. Th that game has a lot of issues. Um, and um, it's harsh criticism, but uh, like, to be honest, it's just not very fun. Um, I cannot recommend it. Anyway, um, frames dropping has seems to have died down. Looks like a whole bunch of frames dropped in like a short period of time looks like i lost 4016 frames um which is quite a bit but it seems to have cleared up now so i guess we can keep going a little bit longer uh i do want to do that rpg that i mentioned before and i'm just worried that I, I like to give rpgs a bit more time than other games because they're more text heavy so I'm worried if giving that that much time would be an opportunity for frames to drop. But you know what? Let's try it. I kind of have been wanting to try out this game for a while. This is not one that I got during the Steam sale. It's one that I got um, a few months ago, I think. But like they kept putting out big updates for it. So I kind of wanted to keep holding off until the updates hit. And now it seems like there's a lot of updates th that they've applied. So... Yeah, let's give it a shot as soon as OBS decides to capture it. OBS? Is game capture not working for this one? Game capture doesn't seem to be working, so one moment as I set up window capture. There we go. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. It's dashboard, and I'm going to turn the volume up on this one a bit. Both on the stream and... I don't think I turned it up that much. There. Let's do... That. Just a little bit. I'm going to turn it up on my end too because it sounds a bit low. I think it's probably just that the tile screen's a bit on the muted side. But... Eh. Okay, I'll give it... I'll give it a 20 minute timer, but we're probably going to go to 30 on this one. And then we'll call it a stream there. Anyway, new game. I think this is made in RPG Maker, but it's pretty custom stuff. Well, this is a good start. Uh, 
Yeah, it's almost certainly made RPG Maker based on the tile screen and um, the size of the window. It's a very RPG Maker sized window. Which I think is like 8 something by 640. But that's fine. I could probably full screen it by doing Alt Enter, but sometimes RPG Maker doesn't like that. Okay. Kind of liking this opening so far. I like how the text sort of appears. That's a nice little effect on this on the text there. That's a good tile card. Okay. Music's definitely a bit more a bit louder than it was on the original tile screen. If that keeps up, I'll just lower it again on my end. Let me know if the game's too loud on stream compared to me. It's a bit hard to judge sometimes with games like this. Right now it looks like it's fine, judging by the OBS levels. Let's see, I'm also going to shove OBS to the side a bit so that I can check it for dropped frames, but... Oh, did it say full screen was F4? Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it windowed on my end. Okay, can't interact with any of this stuff. Can I save? System, no, but we can adjust the window color. Very slowly. <laughs> I'm going to put it back to where it was. Got kind of neon pink going on. We're Nicholas, and we and our class is loser. Judges people like he's any better than them. Okay, this game has a bit of like an attitude vibe going on. We have a shirt. That is the that is the wrong form of hits. <laughs> and our one ability is insult. I get the feeling that Nicholas is a bit of a jerk. Oh well, let's move on. Okay, we can run quite fast. <laughs> That's faster than you normally can run in RPG Maker. Honestly, the default walk speed is fast enough. I feel like if I ran, I'd be running into walls a lot. Liking the kind of muted feel of the soundtrack right now. Oh, you seem like you might have a few issues. <laughs> Between, like, the cult mark on your forehead and the, like, green reptilian eyes you have going on. Cool, I trust you. <laughs> Can I talk to this guy again? Okay. Uh, so I'm liking this game a lot so far. Y you might notice that it gave me control and didn't throw me into like five minutes of dialogue or like a ten minute tutorial quite off the bat. This is going to probably be like, did you know you can equip things? And I'll be like, yes. I play games. <laughs> Is it not equipment though? Okay. Oh. Okay, well, maybe I don't understand this after all. My bad. <laughs> I'm liking this a lot so far though. Yeah, I did that already. Looked like there's memories to collect. I wonder if um, day four, day zero is like this area, and then memory zero out of four is the number of things to collect in this specific area. I get the feeling this might be the type of game where once you do things, you can't go back to old areas. Um, I do know this game has multiple endings. I'm pretty sure it has a fair number of them. I don't know how long it is. Well, you look like an enemy. Never mind, you're just a weird, kind of creepy jellyfish thing that is not hurting me. Hmm. Ferris sounds a lot like Virus, and this is a, like, cyberpunky game, I think. So, what the heck are you? Hi, Parsifal. 
Okay, he moved after I talked to him multiple times. Does he keep moving? He does. Is this like a... Is this like a secret? Why did you move? <laughs> okay. I was like, maybe he was in the middle of moving to the back and I kind of interrupted his movement by talking to him. Maybe that's all that happened. Very strange. Ooh, light. I cannot interact with it. Ooh, that's a good battle transition. We're finger gunning it. Uh-huh. So is it ATB or purely turn-based? I think it's probably purely turn-based, but let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, we do have timing elements. Uh-huh. <laughs> Never defend. Okay, let's murder the rat. I'm going to insult it. <laughs> okay, we just give it the finger and make it sad. Sure. More Teague. Okay. I'm into this game style. I'm kind of really digging this game style, honestly. And this looks like it should be something important, but it's not. Oh. Uh, I'm not so much digging that. Since I saw the jellyfish things earlier, I assume that enemies are... Oh, we have combat music. It sounded like it was getting really good, but I killed that thing too fast. <laughs> Looking forward to hearing more of that combat theme, because it sounded awesome. So yeah, um... Since we saw the jellyfish things, I assumed that enemies would be on the map and not random encounters. But right now this looks like it's random encounter stuff, which... I really like being able to see enemies on the map, because then you don't get into a billion fights. Um, unless those rats are just... There... No, okay. I was gonna say that they kind of were coming at junctions, so I didn't know if the game was just throwing at them at me to make sure I had a certain amount of fights. But no, it looks like there's random encounters. I... The encounter rate doesn't seem... overly high. Doesn't seem overly low either, mind you. Ooh, we leveled up. Nice. Okay, got quite a bit more HP. And we got Violent Grab. Uh, special Attack. Everything else didn't go up too much, but HP went up a fair bit. Hmm, okay, Encounter Rate is a bit high. Oh, two rats. I'm going to die to rats. Okay, so this is one that we can... Oh, now let's try that again. There we go. That eats up a lot of MP. Okay. Can I heal? I do have meds. I don't want to use them quite yet. Kinda oddly almost dead for an early area. Oh, no. I guess I area transitioned a bit. This looks like it might be a safe area? Maybe not. That thing looks like a safe point. As Asbeth Tech healing station. Do you charge money? Okay, nope, it just heals us. This is a very earthboundy thing that's going on right now. But you're still hungry. No. Still haven't found out how to save. 
I kind of would like to be able to save. This is this is quite a bit that's had me go through without any saving. Like, even if there's no real danger, there's the danger of um, the game just crashing or anything. I feel like games should normally have a um, save right off the bat, just so that if anything happens, like either the game crashes or the player accidentally closes it or just has to go, you don't need to sit through the opening cutscene again. Um, no, I didn't finish Northwall. I haven't had a chance to play it again. I would like to stream Northwall at some point, honestly. It, it was really fun, and I feel like the fact that the fights are prey involved means that it's an RPG that is honestly okay for streaming because the fights are interesting. But we'll see. I might just play it on my own. I do want to play more Northwall though. That game was really good, especially since it's free. Um, like by free RPG maker standards, that game is really, really good from what I played of it. Uh huh. Well, this guy just seems like a gem. Okay, bye computer guy. You were really fun to talk to. Is he just gonna kill us? Are oh, the welcome gifts enemies? They sure are. <laughs> oh, they're adorable though. Serve bot and fant. Let's just murder them. Oops, missed the timing on that. Let's try that again. Okay, that one we said it's turn defending. Man, that is really tight timing. Nope. I'm going to use this on the other one, because I think if I get the timing right, yeah, I can just one shot it and save myself a bit of MP. Oh, I should just try use Violent Grab, but... You know what? Yeah, we're doing it. There we go. Yeah, this game's a bit demanding right off the bat. And I do have meds, but... Hey, bye, not final boss. I kind of need the healing, like, robot already again. <laughs> No, go back. I want to heal. Uh-huh. Am I allowed to head back? Is this like a plot choice? And I want to heal. Because I don't trust that. Like the little jingle. Uh, all the NPCs are gone. I wonder if something happens if I go back to the start. Considering that I know this game has branching paths, I bet there is a secret if you go back to the start. But considering I'm live streaming and that would take a whole lot of time, um, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to straight up go into the darkness door. Because I could be wrong. Even if I'm not wrong, I'd rather show off more stuff. Like, instead of going back through old stuff. Here we go. Enter the darkness. Maybe this game auto-saves. Because I feel like there really should have been a save point by now. Oh, that sounds bad. What did we find? Oh, it's a full-on cutscene. Wasn't expecting that. That's actually pretty good pixel art. Okay. Very Breath of Fire 2. Hi, Ferris. Mm-hmm. Well, you just seem like someone that I would trust to grant happiness. 
Mm -hmm. The end. <laughs> It'd be great if the credits just roll here and now. Yeah, this seems a bit off. Yeah, we'll pick up a shiv. And a shirt. <laughs> no. We are not taking that shirt. Yes, yeah, you're still really liking this game style. Five more damage. I mean, considering how little attack we have, five kind of makes a difference. Okay, we got a lot of meds. Yeah, what does our special watch say at this point? Memory 0 out of 4, day 1. Okay, so I guess the memories are more of an overarching thing. Ooh. Okay. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, I can't get up to the friend. He looks kind of unhappy. that Doda Soda? I think it's Doda Soda. That's a good dumb name. He's so sad about no mail being in the mailbox. <laughs> okay, I can break this thing eventually, I guess. I assume I'll also be able to climb these vines or something eventually. Okay, can't... Oh wait, no, I can go this way, but only if I stick to the road. Uh, I want to go into the soda shop. Oh. Wait, I can... Yes, I can go into the private property. Oh, that's just a sign. It's not a store sign, though. Okay. Are you okay? Your face looks like it has issues. <laughs> just that mouth. <laughs> just like kind of a Pac-Man mouth. <laughs> uh, okay. He looks a lot like the cult guys without the um mark on his forehead. Oh, this sounds ominous. There's a cat, I think. I get the feeling I'm going to get attacked by something pretty soon. Hmm. Well, that's lovely. Oh, and there's a whole bunch more notes up there. I really don't know how saving works. So I'm really terrified to do anything. I definitely don't want to close the game until I... find a save point, but saving might just happen. The key word is password. That was apparently not the key word. Oh, he just kind of goes... okay. What does state do? State is just ass. That's all. We're Nicholas Loser Nick. Is the key word... Ferris? I doubt it. No. I think it would have given some sort of feedback if it was. Yeah, I don't know what the what this game's approach to saving is. That's my main concern. Like, it's been... That was the 20 minute mark right there, and I haven't seen any clear way of saving. So, that makes me think that either these robots are saving my data, 
and I just get one save file and that's that, or um, that it's constantly saving, like on screen transitions or something. I wish that the game was a bit more upfront about that because I'm honestly worried to just turn it off. Oh, hi there, Midori. Oh. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I figured the S was for shopping, but, um... Okay. That's quite a while before the first save point in that case. Mm hmm <laughs> I'm glad that the safe NPC has a personality. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't know if she saved for the ga saved my game or not, or just explained how saving works to me. What is this music? <laughs> Hmm. That's a very small car. It sounds like something out of Space Funeral right now. Mm hmm. Oh, they're locked lockers, you say? Now I want to examine the trash can. We must always examine trash cans for hamburgers. Oh, that looks ominous. Like, really ominous. Huh? The plane thing? Or the oh. Oh, she's saying we're just, what are we asking about. Uh-huh. Okay, well, this explains the memory zero out of four, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, just find stray memories in need of a home. Okay, that seems to be the only thing to interact with. Fair amount of flavor text in this game. I do like flavor text in RPGs. Just because even if the flavor text isn't meaningful to the world, it usually gives you a better feel for the character personalities. <laughs> Speaking of, that's pretty good. And... Let's see, Nisha Hater, or Nisha Hater, it seems, is the first person. Let's see, and Wimple 2 is the other person. Red Fever is the best game in the series. Um, let's see. I wonder if Red Fever is, an, is a real RPG Maker game, or if that's just some nonsense they made up. I mean, that other one, Sector Vagrant 73, Isaac versus Clowns, sounds made up. Uh, on the other hand... Oh, a senpai! <laughs> um, okay. Like, that other one said, really fake, but also totally sounds like the type of name someone would really have. Oh. He's very upset that we played his guitar. No. I'm going to save and then play it again, though. Because screw him. Yeah, I do. Okay, so she did not save my game before. 
our character sprite is very small in the save file. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, 24 minutes until the first save is quite a bit. Oh, that looks cool. He's just eating money through his mask. Why not? Okay. I wouldn't mind more defense. Enemies were doing quite a bit of damage. And uh, okay, I can buy both of these things. Let's buy both of these things. This is not for us though. So someone we get has guns. Oh wow, even his expression changes based on what you do. Here we go, optimize. Just gonna save again. Let's try playing the guitar. Yeah, we did it. Now if I do it again, does anything else change? No, nah, he just keeps hitting us. Fine. Oh, he does reduce our HP a little bit. I wonder if it's possible to die from that. Um, so I've already gone well over the 20 minute mark at this point. Uh, haven't really done too much, but I think this is probably going to be a good stopping point for this game. We got to a save, and we said, oh, well, maybe let's get through this little bit first. Okay, but yeah, I, let's call this game about here. I, I'm liking it a lot so far. I, I kind of figured I would, because it has a tone that I like a whole lot. It, it's just very somewhat surreal, and kind of dark, but also not taking itself overly seriously. Well, let's see what's going on here, though. Yeah, I mean, the combat system so far seems very standard, with like a little bit of extra stuff thrown in. I like the faces a lot in this game. Um... Well, hi, Millie. Okay. But yeah, um, again, combat system seems pretty standard, but who knows, maybe that'll change. I mean, our very first skill was a debuff, so maybe it's very buff and debuff heavy once it gets going. Mm-hmm. I, I like the writing a lot, though. I like the way it looks. This is very competently made. Don't know how long it is. Oh, we didn't get into the car. Okay, we're not going to get into the car. I'm going to go ahead and save, and we'll call it here. And let's see, um... Yeah, that seems like a pretty good place to call it. Um, so we'll maybe play the game yourself to see where this car takes you. But I think that'll do it for Dashboard. Again, I'm liking it a lot. So, let's shut down, and I think this game's pretty, sh pretty cheap too. Um, I looked at the prices for everything else, so may as well look at the, pri uh, for the, the price for this. Oh hey, um, that Millie person is in fact on the tile card on Steam. Her face is like right above the logo. I don't think it used to be. Uh, $4.99. Yeah, this seems like it's perfectly reasonable for $5.00. Uh, what else? Let's see. Does it say how long it is? Nope. Just says multiple endings and witty humor and all that. Looks like most reviews... I don't know. Timings are kind of all over the place on playtimes for these reviews. Some of them are 5 hours and there, some of them are 20, so I'm guessing it's somewhere between 5 and 20 hours long. It probably depends a lot upon which ending you go for, and if you go for multiple endings, or who knows. Um, that's going to do it for Dashboard, and I think that's going to do it for tonight's stream. That seems like a pretty good 
number of games we went through. Uh, but before we leave, let's... I guess I'll order the games in terms of, like, best and worst for tonight. Uh, Xenia was the worst one, which, again, I, ca I feel kind of bad saying that, but it was the only one that I didn't like tonight. Um, Star Waker, probably the next up, but it's a pretty big step up from Xenia. Just felt like it was kind of a slow start, and it is pretty pricey. It is the most expensive of the games tonight, and it doesn't necessarily feel like it earns that. Um, but it seemed like it could really get going, and I mean, it played fine. So, again, probably second from last for the night is Star Waker, but it's such a huge gap between that and Xenia. It was still good. I'll put it that way. Um, and then don't open the doors. Very, very text heavy. Um, and, you know, it was being comedic and charming, but at the same time, the charm wore a bit thin when I kind of wanted to just get playing and they were still doing text branches. Like, I could have just rushed through it and it would have been over in a second, but if they're going to give me text, I should probably read the text, you know? Um, and it, the combat itself seemed pretty simplistic, but again, early on, seemed like it picks up as you go. So, yep, yeah, that's about, I'd say that's about even with Star Waker. It felt like a game that didn't quite get going during the time that I played it, but still felt enjoyable. Uh, next up would probably be, hmm. I kind of like all three of the other games quite a bit. Uh, From Shadows was pretty good, but a bit wonky. Uh, Cat's B also felt pretty good. Uh, like, a little bit slippery, but I liked it quite a bit. And I'm going to say that From Shadows and Cat's B are about tied. I like both of them. And they're both... Uh, like, From Shadows is really dirt cheap, and it seemed pretty good. Um... Cat's B has a bit more production value to it, I think. So maybe Cat's B edges it out slightly. And I think Dashboard was honestly my favorite game for the night. I just really liked its style a whole lot. Um, yeah, I just loved the style. It looked great. Combat seemed fine. Nothing special, but fine. Um, combat rate, like encounter rate, seemed overly high. But it seems like the areas are also short. So if they're short, that's okay. Like, if it has long dungeons later on, that would be an issue. But if they're only a few screens long each, then yeah, sure, you can make the combat rate high, the encounter rate high. And yeah, just love the style and the characters that we saw and everything about it, kind of. Um, but that's probably going to do it for the night. So yeah, thanks for watching.